he would be a big key in this game. And tonight's Capital One pivotal performance is not just Elliott, but the offensive line. The tight end, Vanette, nice trap block. The center, Boring, gets up to the linebacker. And look at Elliott pull away from the safety. And then there's the acceleration to take it into the end zone. And then when they were pinned back deep in their own territory, came back with the same play. Vanette on that trap block against Buckner. And then you see the play side. The right side does a good job of opening up a running lane. And there's Elliott. When you give him some room running downhill, he is a handful for any defense to deal with. The Ducks, kings of hashing takeaways into points, get nothing from those back-to-back -back fumbles for Ohio State. Jones now back penalty. Chased by Buckner. He just throws it away. So Oregon recognized empty and brought pressure. That's a check from that Oregon defense and Don Pella. It's a big man chasing a big man, too. <laughs> Eventually, those two are going to meet tonight at some point, because you're right. Buckner at 6'7", 290, and Jones at 6'5", 250. That's a heck of a collision. But a good adjustment there by Oregon late. Empty, only five in the block, and they brought pressure. Marshall motions in. They hand it to him, but the Ducks invade the backfield, drop him for a two-yard loss. And he Mattingly, who's a backup linebacker, helped make the play. Does a good job of shooting through here. He's going to come right here and he's going to come downhill. Doesn't hesitate at all. Sees it, reads the keys, shoots through that offensive line. Elliott didn't have a chance on that play. So it's the Ducks defense turn to try to rise up. And they gain good field position for the Buckeyes who need 12 in this third down. Up. Fires downfield. Devin Smith is open and he makes a catch of the five. Wide up on the left side. He's going to come right through here. A heck of an adjustment here by Cardale Jones. You know about him scrambling here. He keeps his eyes downfield. He sees Smith getting the separation. And I love that he threw it all the way away from Daniels to allow Smith to run underneath that, and that's a heck of an effort by Devin Smith in concentrating, going up, and making that catch. Cardale and JT Barrett says the one rule never underthrow Devin Smith. Oh, <laughs> never give him a chance to go out and run for the ball. Run for some goal. Quarterback keeps it and gets inside the five. Hope he didn't hurt his 27 uh, uh, yard per catch average here. But again, this is just a, a good job by a receiver trusting his quarterback's arm strength, realizing he can make that play. Boy, Daniels came so close to getting a hand on that ball and knocking it away, but the strength of Smith and the concentration allowed him to come up with it. So two catches against Bama, 47 and 40 yards. That was a pretty fun. Beyond the hand is down before that ball is short. 
we're not going to have a touchdown. And we need to take another good look at this to make sure there's indisputable video evidence that that, knee, that arm is not down. And, and Dave, for, for the viewers, even as his elbow touches the line, that's not breaking the plane. It's all, right. all about the football, right? Right. Now, take a look at this shot. You see the elbow on the goal line and his forearm. And look where the ball is. After review, the runner's elbow hit the ground, and the ball was short of the goal line. It'll be third down at the half foot. Jones, I think, suspected it. He had strapped up his helmet sure. about 30 seconds ago, ready to go back in. So third down. Just a few inches short of the goal line. Yeah. And it's a good job of having the patience there. He follows the block here. You're going to see the guard come around. He also follows the big running back, Elliott. It's a well-designed play. This comes up a little bit short. Yeah, I, was, I think the officials and I were looking at the knees to see if he was able to get across, but it was the elbow for sure. Need a better good support of that keeper here. <laughs> six, <laughs> 255, six, five, 250. That's a pretty good call. Center. Sneak. Second effort. Spins into the end zone. And Cardale Jones has given the Buckeyes a two touchdown lead. Oregon stopped him initially. I think that they knew obviously what was coming. And Initially, he stopped, but the spin and then that second effort gets him in there for the touchdown. Ohio State surviving fumbles on their two previous drives. Drives 49 yards in six plays. And the Ducks, after scoring first, the kings of the quick scoring runs, watch the Buckeyes put up 21 straight. You got to go back to the play. The big throw by Jones on the move, throwing that ball downfield away from the defender Daniels. A heck of a catch to set up this touchdown. They came back on third down. It didn't count on the second down, but this time Jones takes it in for the touchdown.